pretty aggressive. You know, uh, I think they're a really solid defense overall. Their front seven is really, really good. They have all American safety. So I mean, all over, all around, they're a pretty good defense. You mentioned the, the all American safety. What uh, what stands out about him on film? Uh, I mean, he's a smart player. He knows where to be. He's in the right place at the right time. These games, uh, you know, you guys have been doing this every year. These big openers. How, how much does it determine sort of the tone of the season? What what happens in that in that big first game? I mean, that kind of sets the tone for the whole season. I mean, if you come out and get a win, then I mean, when we come home for the first home game, it's gonna be like it's a new team. Like they're, we've lost our last two openers, so when our first opener, we really open eyes for our fans and stuff. Is that hard knowing that you know it does determine so much what what happens in that first game? Uh, yeah, but I think it also motivates us, you know, to want to go out there and set the tone for season. What do you think Ole Miss' defense does best? Uh, cause chaos. I mean, just because they have a lot of guys who run to the ball and rally to the ball, big, uh, aggressive guys. So I think they're really good at that. Their, their uh, coaches and some of their players were saying it's so hard for them to prepare for, for you guys because they don't know what you're going to do on offense. I mean, how, how big do you think that advantage is going to be for you guys, the fact that it is a new offense and you've kept a lot under wraps and stuff and we haven't been able to watch a lot? I mean, do you think that will be an advantage, them not knowing what you guys are going to do? I most definitely think that's an advantage. Uh, that's the one good thing about the coaching change. You know, they never know where it's what school the offense or the defense is coming from. So I think that's, we, could, we could be able to use that as a, as a, something, a plus for us. So. Shane, how much has the tone changed so far this week now that you guys are, you know, moving towards Ole Miss and, and you know, leaving fall camp behind? Uh, I mean, reps are getting cut down. I mean, starters and backups are really starting to get a lot more reps. And we're just focusing basically just on one team now rather than and what we're going to run against that one team rather than just the whole playbook. So I think that's. How would you describe what you guys are doing offensively? What, what's going to stand out about this offense? Uh, I think there's going to be a lot more explosive plays this year. You know, I know you talked about becoming a more traditional receiver. Do you feel like in this offense you might have to do that in order to get you know, 77 catches once again? Uh, not really big on the 77 catches because I know I'll be used in different parts of the offense. So, but I think that me being a traditional receiver helps out the offense a lot. It helps out Matt and Jay. So I think that would help. But I don't feel like I have to be there in order to get those catches because, I mean, last year I got it when I was being a traditional receiver. What percentage of catches would you say happened, you know, either at or behind the line of scrimmage for you last year? Do you, do you even guess? Probably about 65, 70. Mm -hmm. you, you think that number will probably go down this year? It should. <laughs> I'm hoping it <laughs> Where have you seen Graham get better this year? Uh, his deep balls, they're pretty good. They're on the money. I think we missed a lot of those last year. I think we'll make up for them this year. You know, I know the scrimmage was a small sample size, and I don't know how much we can completely buy into that, but how much is he being asked to you know, push the ball and throw better balls this year, considering that you guys are trying to attack the field vertically? Uh, I mean, they're not really pushing him. They still want to make the decisions, but I mean, I think that's where he's gotten better at, too. He's making better decisions on the, on the run and just period. I think he's gotten better overall as a quarterback. How are you better as a receiver? Uh, my routes have gotten much better than last year. I think that was probably something that held me back last year from being a traditional receiver. And the vertical speed thing has really helped out, too. We've been getting a lot of the reps lately. Uh, it's been a lot. I mean, it kind of changes day to day. I mean, one day, as you saw from the scrimmage, it could be Troy, and then in practice, it could be it's Dallas, and the next day it could be Chaz. So I think it's just a lot of them three rotating. And, and Coach was saying you guys aren't going to just play three; you're going to play four, five, six. I mean, do you feel like all those guys are, are ready for whatever that role is? Yeah, and I think that plays a big part in it. Why we're going to play four, five, and six because it's me, Matt, and then you have Dallas and Troy and Chaz and Thomas Furback. So it's just all of us going to be working. Spots. Collectively, what do you think the strengths and weaknesses are of this receiving core? The strengths and the weaknesses. I think outside, they have, they have strength. Like the receivers, we have a nice side receivers outside. And then and inside, I mean, we have speed with me and quickness from Thomas. And weaknesses, I would just say, you know, kind of kind of de defending, the, defending the secondary releases. That was like, kind of hard for us. How much time you guys spent on – Sort of the uh, you know the stuff the coaches are they go into a game in terms of you know where do you go to meet with the coach during the game and what kind of how do you make adjustments on the sideline all, all that kind of stuff that you got to go through with a new staff and uh, what have you guys done there to kind of prepare for all that? I mean, it's just kind of, everything's kind of gone kind of on the go, you know. But I think this year our coaches are way better on the on the on the go adjustments, so that should be really good for us. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, 
I know season openers are always big because it's a chance to set the tone for the season. Do you feel like you might, you guys might be setting the tone for a little bit more than that as you kind of welcome in and, and kick off a new era? Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's setting the tone off for the new era for these coaches, for us, all the recruits that are coming in. You know, I think it, has, it plays a role. This game plays a role in everything from recruiting to current players now. We were talking past players. Sorry. We were talking about the Georgia Dome, you know, 70,000 there, but it sounds like the crowd's going to be a little less than, than full. I mean, do you feel like that's an advantage for you guys, too, that maybe it won't be full and it won't be as, as loud and as many Ole Miss fans maybe as you guys have originally planned for? Uh, I mean, I mean, I played in the last two openers, and I don't really feel like the crowd really affects us. Really big, much of a, uh, affect us at all. I mean, we practice with noise and stuff like that, so I don't really feel like that'll be a factor at all. Kipper, feel playing inside? Have you ever played inside before? Kind of give you back to that. I know a lot of stuff for us on, on the outside kind of kind of looks similar to what it's been in the past, but but how much is different? And it, it seems like the more and more we talk to you guys, the more you know you guys explain there's a change in demeanor and, and all that stuff. I mean, how much how much truly is different under this new coaching staff on the inside? I mean, it's just the swagger. I think it's just the swagger, the way we the way we walk around. Everything just is just different. Like we really have something to prove, and we're trying to get that going. Do you enjoy this?